Hi, this is Brian Jones. I'd like to talk to you about the microcontroller PC data transfer protocol. In many typical microcontroller approaches, an embedded application will have a simple menu interface. For example, you might have a microcontroller which prints a menu, press 1 to turn on the left motor. On the PC, a user can respond by typing the number 1 and the microcontroller then turns on a motor or takes some other useful action. As a more extended example, here's the reset program. In this case, the microcontroller produces a simple menu. The user can then respond, for example, by typing 7 to execute the reset instruction. And lo and behold, the reset instruction is executed. However, there are a couple missing features that would be really helpful to have. It would be nice to be able to transfer binary data between the microcontroller and the PC and to provide some basic debug support. For example, in addition to allowing this type of text menu, press 1 to turn on the motor, we'd love to have the ability for the microcontroller to send distant sensor readings, for example, to a GUI residing on the PC, and the PC to respond using the GUI to send a series of drive commands to display data and operate the robot in a way that simple menu commands don't enable. Here, for example, is a graphical user interface created for one of the robots that I've worked on with abilities to move both motors at varying velocities forward and backward and modify servo positions and plot the result of a distance sensor. In addition, it would be nice to have some debug support. It would be great if the microcontroller could report the value of variables, have them displayed on the PC, and even allow the PC to modify through its user interface the value of those variables for debugging support. And as an example of that capability, let's look at the the uh, program. Here, a demonstration program prints out the current sum and allows the user via the text interface to enter a digit to sum. I type in the number 0 and the debug interface it prints the current value, negative 1, index of received data, and other useful information. I can then, using the text interface, enter a digit. Let's type the number 2 and we'll see the sum increased 1 here and on the PC. And in addition, I can click on that value, click on it one more time, and type in a new value. Let's change that to 10. The microcontroller can then detect that data was received and now correctly reports the new data. Very helpful for debugging and better user interface type activities. However, as discussed earlier, it's important not simply to replace the text-based interface, but what we really want to do is supplement that interface by adding to, not subtracting from, or not changing the capabilities. We want this to be an addition. And in fact, that's exactly what the data transfer protocol provides, is layering, as you saw in that demonstration, a binary transfer protocol on top of the existing text-based transfer protocol. So assuming this is something you'd like to add to your program, let's discuss implementing that in four straightforward steps. Here's the documentation page for the microcontroller data transfer protocol and sketched out here is a simple echo example that we'll demonstrate in a moment. The four steps include number one, you need to include data transfer.x.h at the beginning of your program and inside your main function we need to initialize it in at data xfer. The third step, we need to specify each variable that will be sent or received using the specify variable, providing it with an index, the variable itself, whether the PC is allowed to change that variable's value, a printf format string, and a description to assist in the user interface. Step four is to send and receive data. In particular, we can send the number of characters and the character itself and then use functions like incareXfer to receive a character and also allow these variables to be received from the PC. Let's see that echo program in action. Here the echo program is ready to go. What I do is keep track of the number of characters thus far received and also the actual character received. I'll type the letter A 
And we'll see the echo down here and note that one character has been received. And so if I type enough characters, this program will wrap every 10 characters, demonstrating use of the echo. In summary, the data transfer protocol provides binary data transfer between a microcontroller and a PC, which allows basic debug support. It layers on top of the existing ability to produce text-based interfaces by augmenting those text-based interfaces with various flavors of binary interfaces. I hope you find this information useful and would refer you to the documentation pages for more information. Thanks for listening.